It is. So the, the clean air bleed is unique to the way VESTA works and it's critical that we have the clean air bleed to maintain the integrity of the detection chamber inside. So if the detection chamber becomes contaminated with dirt, it will affect its performance and we'll have to adapt the detector's performance to compensate for that. The difference with the filter now on the VE range, one of the problems of the Laser Plus product is you had to log on to the detector when you'd replace the filter to tell it you'd replaced it. With the Vesda E range, the filter's still inside behind the front cover and it's, it's the filter just down the bottom here. And I've got one in my hand just to show you. When the engineer takes the filter out, the detector detects the filter's been removed, but then when he puts it back in again, it's looking for information from the microchip. So the detector knows that the filter has been replaced or the original filter's been put back in and the engineer never needs to plug into the detector to change the configuration of it. Um, Vesta detector is, as it says, it's a detector. This needs to connect to a fire alarm system. Um, and same as the, the current range of Vesta product, we use volt-free contacts inside. And again, from a backwards compatibility point of view, the VEP and the VEU have got ex exactly the same cable connections as the Laser Plus product, so it's a very easy retrofit. Um, also, monitoring on this has become a little bit easier. So internally, there's an ethernet port, so we can connect this to a, a LAN network. It's also got Wi-Fi in it, so it can talk to a Wi-Fi network. And that allows us much easier remote monitoring. And we can remotely monitor the Vesdary range either through a PC, which is running VSM software, our current range of, of software, um, or we can use iVesda, which is a, a, an Android or Apple-based um, connection system, which we can look at later. Across all of Vesta E range, uh, with the VEU, the VEP and the VEA, we can have either a basic LED display which will purely show the four fire outputs, uh, a fault condition and whether the unit's isolated and there is a reset and isolate button on the front. Um, or we can have the full three and a half inch touchscreen display which still includes the LEDs that we've just talked about in the display, but it also includes a touchscreen display which gives us a lot of information.